Hey guys, Jimmy Yan here, the acupuncture neurology specialist, and coming to you today with Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to do Treatment Tuesday. So I'm going to go over something that I've personally did, my, uh, done, did on myself uh, this past week. So last week, um, we started, my team and I started an accountability challenge, and one of the things was you, know, you set your own, own goals that you're going to do, and one of the goals that I had was to work out every single day. And because I have weakness in my knees from lack of workout, that's why I put it as my goal. Um, as I was doing the, uh, the exercise, I actually hurt my knee, my right knee, um, and more along the tibia, what you would call your shin bone, and you know, just pain in there, you know, pain when I was walking, um, and therefore, uh, you know, I did self treatment. So, what are some ways that you can do for self treatment? For knee pain, from you know whether it's from exercise um, or um, usually it's from weakness, right? So a couple things that you can do. One thing is you know you can take supplements. Uh, one of the supplements that I used is fish oil, so omega three. You want to take omega threes. Um, I took personally, um, I took three thousand milligrams three times a day. So that's about nine thousand milligrams of fish oil, right? Now. The type of fish oil that you get is very important. Um, not all fish oil supplements are made the same. Um, the ones uh, I use are, you know, have I've used them for years since I compete in tennis. So that's one thing that I did. Another thing, obviously, I can do acupuncture myself, but uh, you can't. Okay, so please don't stick needles in yourself. Um, what can you do if you have knee pain? And you'll be surprised. You know, most people think, okay, you've got knee pain, so you you do something on the knee itself, right? And so I did zero treatments on my knee, right? And so you can also do zero therapy on your knees. You can actually do them on your fingers, and more specifically, your middle finger. So your middle finger actually is related to your knees. So what you can do is what we call our quick relief acupressure. You can do acupressure on your fingers, on your middle finger. And so what you want to do is you want to massage. You see this joint right here? This joint right, knee, right here corresponds to your knee, right? So since my right knee was hurting, I used my left middle finger and you just massage. You just push around the joint. So the knee is a joint, right? So I was hurting on the shin bone, so right here, right? So I want to push on the bone right here, on the bone, on the joint. If I was hurting more my calves, then I would be massaging the muscle part of my finger. But since I was hurting more on my bone, on my knee bone, tibia, I was pushing, okay? I, ins I can insert needles in my finger, but you can press using a quick relief acupressure, QRA acupressure, and you massage this, this bone, and then you just flex your knee, walk on your knee, you know, uh, don't jump on your knee yet, but you can walk on your knee, bend down, do some squats, and then press again if you still feel the pain. Come here and press really hard. It will hurt when you press these joints, okay? If this joint doesn't work, you can go up to this joint up here and press really hard on the joint right here. Um, and if that joint doesn't work, you can press on this joint right here, this joint right here, right? Until, but this joint usually works the best for knee pain, okay? So if you do have knee pain, give it a try. Let me know if it works. Um, quick tip on how to use the middle finger to get rid of your knee pain. All right, guys, Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health. And as always, uh, remember, everything in life is achievable, but it's up to you to make it happen. All right, so let's go out and make it happen.